we don't really have anything beyond 1950. A local librarian is recruiting time travelers. Her goal, filling in gaps in the Watertown Free Public Library's local history collection. I had someone come in a couple years ago and say, yeah, I've got a high school reunion. I would love a photo of this street corner from when I was in high school. We didn't have it. Mid 19th century. As Watertown's local history librarian and archivist, that's an answer Caroline Littlewood wants to avoid. So she and her colleagues are taking action, gathering photos through the Watertown Collective Memory Project. If you're a member of the Watertown community, choose three photographs that are meaningful to you that represent your connection to Watertown or you know anything that's important to you. And don't try to think about what we want. I like to think of it as both a history project and a community portrait because it's kind of cool to see who we are. The photos capture the most ordinary moments and the most memorable, the way things change and the ways they stay the same. This one here is actually one of the first ones we scanned. This one is kind of the origin story of the local business. 30 years from now, how are we gonna learn about the businesses from today? There's no phone books. Former Watertown resident Esther Kim contributed to the project. One of her photos was featured in a display at the library. I had just moved to Watertown. Me, my mom, my younger brother, very sweaty from moving in the middle of the summer and we were starving. So we ordered just some takeout sushi and we walked down the street to the Charles and ate it in front of the river. And it was just this moment of feeling very accomplished. Oh, 1993. Kim says she wanted to add her experiences to this larger archive of Watertown history. In 20, 40 years, I hope people continue to appreciate the beauty of Watertown, specifically the natural beauty and the fact that, you know, there's so many diverse families living in Watertown and my family was, was part of that. And Littlewood hopes others feel the same way. I hope they see it and they go, oh, my three photos. I'm going to contribute these three photos. That's the ultimate goal. <laughs>